my opinion, it's a, it's a complex thing. Okay, it's not one thing per se. You know, so it's not only culture and it's not only the occupation. It's a mixture of all. You know, and then I mean, eventually, um, your fear for your own family, for your own uh, friends, is something that gets you sometimes overprotective. And I'm not saying that it's it's uh, right or wrong. I'm just saying that it's justified. You know, and eventually. Um, I mean, there are cultural things, for example, that I, I don't like about uh, the United States of America, for example, or the Western societies, because from where I, where I come from is different as well, you know? Now, the thing is that if we're, uh, if we're discussing whether this cultural um, mentality is something that, uh, good or bad, you know, that's a different story. Because then I, I can tell you that there is something that I consider that is bad in, in this culture or that, and it would go back and forth. The issue now is, what are we discussing in terms of our culture with uh, or in relation to the culture of the Israeli society, you know? If that's the comparison, then the first thing that we need to um, uh, point out is that we are two different societies that have two different cultures, that have two different backgrounds, that uh, have very various and different I, fears, I would say you know? You guys, um, most Palestinians, not all, but most Palestinians have much more in common with religious Jews than you do with secular Jews, much more. I, I, I find there's much more, like, meaning, if, if I'm going to negotiate, let's pretend I'm Israeli and I'm going to negotiate with you, mm -hmm. as, as, as uh, conservative, Muslim, mostly Palestinians, it's much harder for me to do that. Oh, a I'm settler, a, a settler... I'm not a conservative no, 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 Muslim Palestinian. I'm I'm I, am, I am the furthest from that. But, but my point is that, like, again, me, I'm talking exactly the same as you, you know? I'm, I'm just representing uh, or trying to diffuse the misunderstanding that is surrounding the culture and the religion in general, whether it was Islam, Judaism, or Christianity, or any kind of religion, you know? And this is part of, again, why I'm here in the first place, because in most of the cases, people just have these prejudgments that they're coming with, you know? And khalas, this is how I think the society is. But it's not true. The society is a mixture of very, very, very various nice. people, you know? You walk down the street in Ramallah and you see all kind of different things, you know? You see someone like me with the long hair, which is very extreme for our society, you know? Uh, you see a girl walking uh, with a skirt, you see a guy who has a piercing. And a hijabi girl. A hijabi girl, a girl who's covering her eyes and you don't even see her eyes, yeah. I mean. It's just a, a society like any other, you know? So you wanted to say? Yeah. Well, so the, there is an important uh, point that is missing from this entire nar narrative, uh, which is, uh, it's actually two things. Um, it's not, I, I, I disagree with, with Ahmed on this one point about the differences between the two cultures. Um, it's not the, the, the Western and the Middle Eastern culture or, or the populations are not necessarily different at all. They, they actually, they could be, they could be uh, much more similar than, than we can imagine. So um, there is one point. The other point is that stati statistically, um, the crime rates in across the West Bank are much lower than those of, um, say, the United States or Europe. It's much lower. Uh, homicides, uh, theft. So th there is this one point that is uh, that everybody completely um, ignores, even those who are trying to uh, to defend uh, Middle Eastern or Arabic societies. How are we similar? Or, I mean, I don't even, get it. How are we? How is our culture similar to our Western culture? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going. Sense? I'm going to get back to that later on. That is that is a bad means. I mean, in my in my opinion, because it means that uh, the refugees uh, it, it, it gives it gives the the radical right, the radical far right, more reason to say that your culture is so different and and your refugees should not come over because we're different no, and no, and no, we're not. Back no. the yeah. uh, rights is one thing. And culture is another. Well, well, you know? let's, let's not mix them up. No, they're I mean, influencing everybody. You can, you can it's give mainstream. You can give a no. Excuse me. You, you can give. Israeli you can give your own justification as you want. It doesn't mean that it's acceptable by other people or acceptable by logic. You know, 
I can be I can be now walking in the street and claiming that I am God and all people have to worship me. Well, that's the thing. Logic you know? does not work in, it in does. this form. It does. I'm uh, going to tell you when what. we're talking about when we're talking about something that is related to the occupation and, and uh, the conflict, logic does matter because this is what what and how you can bring people into your own camp and how you can pe make people see what is actually going on on the ground. But you know, if someone comes and says like all Muslims are uh, terrorists, radicals who are killing uh, machines and I don't know what, we should not feed into that, you know? And we don't have to believe it. There are millions of examples, you okay, know, I'm gonna that show that Muslims are not like that. Okay. So, I mean, it's your job to fight against something that is wrong, even in, the term, uh, in terms of mentality. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to give you an example of why uh, the radical life, the radical right in Western countries um, is, is influencing the mainstream. So you, it, it's, not, it's, not too, uh, it's not too difficult for you to find somebody, just an average Joe, anywhere across the United States, uh, who, who you would be discussing Muslims and Arabs with. And, and he, he would say to you that the Muslims and the Arabs are, are violent people, mm -hmm. extremely violent people who behead each other and beat each other up and uh, they, they rape their women and, and et cetera, et cetera. Yes, by the way, be and, and because they don't know the history, like they no, don't no, know no, the situation in the US. It's not that. There is a three military movements all over the Middle East and there is 226 military movements in the US. Yeah. And they are killing people. Yeah, it's like but, I mean, yeah, but more importantly, more importantly, I believe in the statistics. I, I believe in the numbers. Mm -hmm. um, like I was saying before, crime rates across the Arab world, you wouldn't believe it. Even, even you, you wouldn't believe it. We have um, lower homicides and suicide rates than even Sweden. And, and, and the, the, the Sweden is like the fifth or, or the fourth, or even the third in, in, in rape rates. In, uh, in I mean, rape what, what are we trying to prove? Yeah, because but, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to prove trying. That, that you're saying that people believe in, in logic. We, we should yeah. just, yeah. I'm telling you that people do not believe in logic because this is logic. The statistics, the numbers oh, yeah. are logic. I mean, you said that if you go across the United States, I mean, with all due respect, have you been to the United States? No. Okay, so I've been to the United States six times in the last three years. Did you years. think it was okay. safer than, than the West Bank? I'm not talking about safer. No, no, no this one is second. very important. Yes, this is what what I'll get to that one second. Yeah. My point is that I've been to the United States and I've talked to a lot of people in the US, you know? I, I've spoken to um, uh, diplomats, I've spoken to politicians, I've spoken to uh, academics, uh, think tanks, you name it, you know? And even went to co uh, con uh, congregations, you know, uh, Christians and, and uh, uh, Jews. And I mean, when you talk to people in the U.S., they are exactly a, a wide spectrum as the wide spectrum that we have here in terms of what they believe about us as Palestinians, okay, when, about when Arabs. Was, when did you One go? second. When well, I'm telling you, I've been in the last three years, six times to the U.S. Now, when was the last time? The last time was 2014. Okay, now we're in 2016. <laughs> mm -hmm. And... Whatever, whatever Trump, Donald Trump is saying is the mainstream. It has it's been, it has been extremely different since then. I mean, there with all due respect, no. There wasn't, look, when there it comes wasn't to the ISIS problem. Though. Okay, okay. When it comes to elections in any place, you know, it doesn't mean that it's 100% representative of what the society believes. This is the first one. Because in most of the cases, it's about people who nominate themselves, you know. And, people, and then people vote for very people for reasons. Exactly. They're not necessarily exactly. the, the reason. Exactly. Sometimes think. it's because of uh, health issues. They want it to be but supported. Think, and this yeah, but I think in Trump's case, that. it's more of a demographic issue. I mean, most of yeah. Trump's supporters are average working class Americans who are happen to be white. Yeah. You know. <laughs> And that's something, that's something you won't find in any, in any other camp in the U.S. at the moment. I'm not going to talk about the U.S., but like when it comes to like crimes over here and, and the culture over here, I think it's very family-oriented. And in the, t in the sense of even if you're living away from your family, your family has a very big influence in your life. Of course. It uh, doesn't matter. Like I'm living alone, yet my family still butts in. My family still intervenes in, in personal decisions about where to live, about how to work, about whatever. In the end, I make my own decision, but this situation wouldn't occur in a 
society that focuses on the individual rather than the family.